to say hello. Literally, right? <laughs> Hello, hello everyone. How is everybody Sunday today? How is everybody doing? Hello, hello. So, I want to make this video short, this live. So, I told you in my stories yesterday, if you saw the stories, you said today you heard me say we're gonna make a recipe today and it's a recipe that has been going viral on TikTok. now I haven't seen the recipe the original recipe but I've heard people making it and I've seen other people putting their twist on it and I thought hey I'm doing a cleanse but I can still make this recipe right not only make it better vegan but just easier so I thought I'd do that with you all. Now, what we need to do for this recipe is just get a couple of ingredients. It's the feta, it's a, it's a baked feta pasta. Now, I'm going to do that with the vegan cheese, vegan feta, and we're gonna do it stove top. Um, it's faster, and I just feel like it'll be better. Now, yesterday I asked you all to make my queso fresco. Now, if you haven't and you want to make the recipe, you're just going to have to watch this again later. So just save it and you can watch it later. Now, if you did listen and you made the cheese, here we have it. And you can get this recipe on the link on my bio, episode 19. So here, here we have our cheese. Look at that. Here, let, me, let me get this baby a little. Look at that. We're not going to use the whole cheese. We're only going to use some of it, but I just wanted to show you. This is the amount of cheese that you get from the one recipe, which for me, I make two cheeses, but for this time, I only made it in one container because I'm just going to cut it. We're going to use a little bit under half of this cheese, so maybe like about, not a little bit over a quarter of the cheese because we're going to also use, let me just show you. Could you please put this away? in the fridge. Thank you kindly. Um, so here we have our cheese. Can you see it? Delicious queso fresco. This queso fresco is very similar to feta cheese. Where's my towel? Um, so queso fresco, hold on a second. I'm doing like a gazillion things. You all know how it is. So um, queso fresco is very, very, very similar to uh, feta cheese is it's creamy it's fresh it's very salty or it has that delicious salty way so what we're going to use for the recipe for this feta we're going to use the queso fresco and on top of that we're going to because this cheese does not have any additional fat added to it like a feta like an animal feta cheese we're going to add um, a a little piece like maybe a quarter of the block of and this is not necessary I just want to add that little fattiness to the dish with bio life uh, feta cheese so it's it's pretty much oil that is quite tasty so these are the cheeses now we're gonna move on from here I just wanted to start here because over there by the stove it gets a little gets a little crowded now I have three pastas well, should I tell you the ingredients? Should we, should I show you the ingredients? Or let me tell you the ingredients. What we're gonna need is pasta. And I'm gonna give you an option for you to choose what pasta you wanna use, which I have this one right here. It's a fusilli pasta. We have this one right here. You can just look at the, at the shape there. And I have this one right here. I'm leaning towards one. Now, that might be me just talking because I'm gonna cleanse and I really would like to have this pasta, but I'm gonna stick it through. I'm doing this for you all, really. And, well, for my son, because he's gotta eat. Um, <laughs> so what 
we're going to do, if you have seen this viral video of this pasta, it is a um, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes um, drizzled with olive oil. And in the middle, they put a fresh block of feta cheese. They drizzle it a little more with oil. They add a little bit of oregano and they bake it. What we're going to do is a little something different. So we are going to use the same, essentially we're going to use the same ingredients, just vegan and make it better. Like I said, I think I've said that we're gonna make it better a gazillion times. Why are we gonna make it better? Well, because it's wholesome, kinda, because it's made from plants. And I mean, most of the cheese we're gonna use is a plant cheese made out of almonds with no real fat. I mean, yes, almonds have fat, I get it. Number one comment on the episode, but, um, it is a wholesome, it is a wholesome uh, recipe. Now let's get to making this recipe. I want you to tell me number one, pasta number one, or else I'm just gonna choose. If y'all don't tell me, I'm just gonna choose for you. The fusilli, the salvatani. Did I say this right? Just look at the shape, y'all. Just, just stick to the shape. Or the rigatoni. Let me see if you can see the shape. Which one? Which one? In the meantime, do you guys want to see me or do you want to see the food? I feel like you should see the food. Should we focus on everything? This is my song. This is my song as of late. We could be heroes. We could be heroes. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I think y'all ain't telling me. Y'all just watching me silently. Cooperate, fam. Cooperate with what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna give you a few more, a few more minutes. You're not telling me if you wanna watch me or the food, and I really feel that it should be the food. But okay, here we have grape tomatoes. We have about one and a half little, you know the little bins of the tomatoes? We have about one and a half of them in here. What we're gonna do, by the way, I have a big pot of water boiling. I'm gonna show you. Let me half these first. I'm gonna half them. The recipe does not say to half them, but we're gonna half them. I think this is where I'm gonna put the chopped up ones. In. Now, you don't have to do this, but trust, it'll be better if we do this. And you know, you can try do the little tricks. Y'all seen the tricks, how to half them. All, you put them in a plate, you put another plate on top, and uh, you do them all at once. That's really cute, but I really do enjoy Chopping them. It's something that I enjoy. Y'all know I love chopping fruit, vegetables, whatever. If it's chopping, I enjoy it. So we're just gonna go with it. We're gonna chop, chop, chop. Y'all are silent today. This makes song. I forgot about how good it was. It's an older song, right? So essentially, this is gonna be our base. This is this the sweet nectar of these little tomatoes is going to coat our pasta all ever so gently. And it's gonna create just this beautiful dance between pasta, feta, and vegetable or tomato. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Y'all know that? Did y'all know that tomato is a fruit? If you didn't, now you know. You ain't gotta take my word for it. You can look this up. Okay, let's grab. I'm gonna throw them in the bowl. Oh, I lost one. And I'm gonna do, oh, where'd it go? I don't know where it went. I was gonna kick it underneath the, the counter just like any good person would do because I don't wanna step on it. Now, 
I've been listening to this playlist like the last three days. I'm using my Queen Queen's Knife Collection. It works pretty good. Think you're better off alone. Okay, the, the food is gonna come up, kinda come out with a vibe today. Okay. So we have our pasta water going. Now I wanna talk about the pasta. A little simple ratio to keep it here. You always want to over salt the water and undercook the pasta. Over salt the water, over on the water, over salt the water to the level of the sea. A good way to know how well seasoned your water is, you wanna season it to the level of the sea. Very nice and salted. Now your pasta. Under, always, under, al dente, under, always. Okay, here we have our little tomatoes. Look how beautiful they are. This is gonna be our sauce. Okay, now, here, let me, let me bring you, let me bring you over right here real quick. I don't know what you can and cannot see. Let me move it back just a little bit. How are we? Here. Are we good here? Here. So here we have our um, our pasta water. Now it's full. You want to add enough water, a lot of water, <laughs> based on how much pasta you're making, right? You we all already know that. Now I'm gonna grab some um, some. Pink Himalayan rock salt. Let me show you just in case some of you are wondering. Y'all already know. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. Hold on. We're gonna throw that in there. If you thought that was a lot, it's not. So we want to over salt the water to the level of the sea. Okay, we're gonna cover it up and we're gonna let that come to a boil. While that's going, here we have some more ingredients. Let me bring you over. Let me bring you over. Can you see here? No, you can't see. Here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go get the stuff and I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. Give me a minute. The beat's right today. I just bought this plant yesterday. Tell me why it's all falling apart. I don't understand. I don't understand a child. Okay, so we have our tomatoes. We have some garlic. Now this is to your taste. But let me show you the difference. To the ones that are new, when I say a clove of garlic, which I never say that, but if I say five cloves of garlic, I mean this. It's big, y'all. It's a chef's clove right there. This is a regular size clove, and this is even big compared to what people use, but here. And it's really thick and fucked. So when I say a clove or five cloves or whatever, this is what I mean. Not this. So, in order to make one of these, you would need probably three to four of the regular cloves that you are used to. So what we're gonna do, I'm using about four of these. And let me, let me clean this up real quick. And I'm gonna chop them up. You can either chop them up or put them through the garlic press. I'm just gonna give them a little quick chop Y'all ain't telling me what you want to see. So I'm just going to, I'm going to stick to, y'all want to see me. I feel like we haven't seen each other in a pretty minute. Y'all miss me. I've been fully optimized, family. Very, very, very fully optimized. 
Good things, good things, all good things. So we're, oh, the smell of garlic. The smell of garlic. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I love this song. I think this song came out when I was in middle school. Just based on the video and from what I remember. You know, the cargo pants with the with the pockets and the really techno y vibe. Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly give this a little a little rough chop, maybe a little puff, a little rough chop. Nothing crazy. Don't don't stress about it. You can put it through the garlic press just now. You know what? I'm probably gonna do two and a half. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm only gonna do like two and a half to three cloves based on what I'm looking at here. This is this is what I'm feeling. This is this is what I'm feeling. So go with your intuitive guidance. So I'm gonna do this live and then I'm going to type out what I did and what I added in the recipe. Just so you guys, if you ever go back, then you have it in a written version since you already watched the video. Whatever, you don't have to look through for the recipe. How about that? You guys like that idea? My silent, my silent family. Y'all extra quiet today. Beyond quiet. But it's okay. I'm here. Okay. Yes, I think I used like two and a half very chef's clothes. Chef's clothes. Now. So very large cloves. And I'm going to put this here in the little container. Collecting our... You didn't tell me, y'all didn't tell me what pasta you want. So, I think I'm gonna have to choose for you. I'm gonna have to choose for you. Um. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity. Fusilli. Selling honey. Look at the picture, fam. Just look at the picture. Or rigatoni. Selantini it is. Got it. Then this is this is the winner right here. And this is the one we're gonna go with. Okay. So this is what we need to do. We are we have our our tomatoes chopped up. We have our water going. Let's actually take um hi Jeanette. Let's take our pasta to the water. boiling yet wait a minute it was not high okay let's give it a little more time this is you know what this is what we're gonna do let me open this up y'all I've been here almost seven months if not seven months already and I'm still living like I just moved in I'm like wait where are my pants I still have some stuff in my garage that I haven't taken out. Listen, it's been a situation. I'm gonna move this to the back burner here. Can you see? Okay, the water's running here, it's on high. The reason I did that is because while that's going, I want to get started here let me move this closer can you see all right okay California such a love place. I'm playing musical ingredients y'all why is this happening
This is what we're going to do. In a pan, we're gonna let it come up to a medium heat. We don't want it to be scorching hot. We don't want our garlic or anything to burn. We just wanna cook it and have it play with everything. This is not what I want. Let's use a wooden spoon. So what you're gonna need, once you bring this up to the heat, we're gonna use extra virgin olive oil or olive oil, whatever you have, preferably. Now, instead of baking our feta, what we're going to do is we're gonna get it nice and whippy on the blender along, well, and when I say feta, is because that's what the recipe is calling, but remember, queso fresco is very, very similar to feta. So we're gonna use the queso fresco. Again, the recipe is on the link on my bio, or you can just go to my channel and find it on episode 19, I believe it is. So we're gonna use some of that cheese, and we're going to use some of this. What we can do is, in the meantime, while we wait for that to start boiling and this to heat up, we're going to add, we're going to add our queso fresco into the blender. We're going to add um, the feta, the BioLife feta in here. This is just more for that little fattiness. And then we're gonna blend it and we're gonna get it nice and whippy. That's what we want out of it. So here it is. If you don't have a high speed blender, you can add a little bit of, uh, see it's, it's a little more difficult to find vegan heavy cream, but you can just use like a plain, not flavored, not salted, not anything, um, soy milk or like a boxed uh, almond milk will work also, but make sure that it's not flavored or you know, sweet, and some, some, some can be a little sweet, so know what you're adding into it. But let me blend this up. I might add, I'm just gonna try like this first. I've never made this before, by the way, and I'm really trying here to not taste it. I'm trying to do this blindly, but y'all know. Here, let me, let me turn on the blender and get this going. Let me move this over a little bit. Maybe you can see it. And you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. Do I have some? Yes. I am going to add. Ow! Hold on a second. I am going to add some, a little bit of milk, just a teeny tiny bit. Like an eighth of a cup. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. Okay, and here we are. We're gonna we gonna blend. understand what's happening here give me a minute y'all we have some we have some technical difficulties but nothing I can't fix within seconds I was like what's happening I see 
what's happening. Boom. We can get this going now. Let's put this down, sorry. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> Real life cooking, the stuff you don't see when you make the videos. Now with a little spatula, I'm gonna scrape the sides just to incorporate it, incorporate it in as um, they got stuck on the sides. So this last blend, it can all get it because it's not so much, it kind of stays on the bottom. So, okay. I'm gonna do one more blend. It's gonna be kind of loud, so roll with it. This would be in a beautiful bowl, right? But we're not. So see, this is our cheese. You can taste it if you feel that it needs more salt. If you feel like it needs anything, you can adjust to your liking. Remember that it's a very in individual taste and palate and for your own. Okay, the water's running. The running, it's not running anywhere, it's boiling. And we're going to add our pasta. Now we want this al dente and I usually go a little under al dente. So we're going to do it about, I'm going to put the timer on for about 10 minutes and then we'll check at that time. Let me give it a little, let me give it a little stir. In 10 minutes we'll check that. Now this has been going. Let's add some olive oil, some extra virgin. Now you wanna add a good amount because this is also going to help us build, the olive oil is gonna help us build, let me turn the fire down. It's gonna help us build this sauce that we're trying to create. See, on this video, they bake the feta, they bake um, the tomatoes, but they add a lot of oil underneath the tomato, then over the tomato, and then they put the feta and they add more oil. So this is all creating the fattiness, and it's going to create that thick, velvety pasta. Okay, we're going to add our, we're going to add our garlic. Now the fire was going on for a little bit. I want you to be able to see this. So I'm gonna bring the phone in just, oh my goodness. This is gonna be rough not wanting to eat this. Okay. This is what we have going on right now. So this is flavoring our oil. Right? And now we're going to add our tomatoes. In there you see what's going on here oh my goodness this smells so good I swear I always fast when something amazing happens and I'm like I want it okay to this we're going to add A little higher. We're going to add a few basil leaves. Let me get them. 
Because y'all saw, I have my plant and I just bought it, but something happened to her. So what we're going to do is we're going to gather them just like this. Look at this little baby. And then we're going to tear them. When we do this, we awaken those little dormant oils. So we allow them to get straight into our, our sauce. So always tear it right as you're about to use it. Mmm, this smells so good. I'm going to add a little more. I use probably about six leaves, and they're a pretty good size. They're large leaves. Now I can tell that needs, this needs a little bit of oil. I think I used about probably now three tablespoons of olive oil. Now the better quality olive oil that you use, the better this is going to taste. Now this oil, it is, um, it's not from here. I just use a bottle because my son can actually pick it up and you know, because he's learning to cook. Okay, so we're gonna let this go. And when I say let it go, I mean we're gonna let, let it be here. On a medium high, oh wait, 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 wait. We're going to add a pinch of salt. Not too much, why? Because the cheese and the cheese mixture, it's, it's salty. Now we're going to grab oregano. This is whole oregano. You already know. Whole oregano, this is Mexican oregano, but you can use Italian oregano, whatever makes you happy. And we're going to break it up in our hands. We're gonna rub it, right? We're gonna get that, we're gonna awaken those dormant oils that have been on the shelf. Even if you have the freshest spices, you want to grind it in your hand and then you want to add it. In fact, I'm going to grab a little more. That was probably about a hefty teaspoon of oregano. Now, the recipe does not say to add chili flakes, nor did it say to add garlic, but here we are, right? We're going to add some chili flakes because that's how we do. A good pinch, and let's go with a little half a pinch here. It's for my son, so we're we're threading lightly here. Now I'm gonna let this be. Where's the lid? For a little bit. And there we go. We, we're on the good path, fam. We're on the good path. Now we're gonna stir our pasta real quick. And it has four minutes left. But we're gonna let that go. In the meantime, I want to get my cheese mixture out of the blender. Here, we can move over here. We can chat. Well, y'all are kind of silent, but but we can chat anyway. <gasps> okay. I'm like, I have chili, let me wash my hands. I have chili flakes in my hands. And after they scratch my eye, I'm gonna be crying late, later. Okay. Where is my... I had a spatula. I don't know where it is. goodness fam it is in, it's inside here listen she goofy sometimes I'm gonna use the same bowl where I had my tomatoes and I'm just going to add it on here now I'm just gonna look at this it's whippy it's delicious and this is the queso fresco and the little the little bit of feta just to get that fattiness. Now, if you wanna make more than this recipe, just double it up and you have the whole recipe, the whole, you use the whole cheese, you use half of the 
of the feta block that I showed you all earlier and I can show you the brand in just a second and you don't have to use it again like I told you you do not have to use add the additional feta I just really wanted to give this a more oh excuse me I just had a celery just a little bit ago and it's like making it self known <laughs> um, what was I saying <laughs> Um, I just wanted to make it more, you know, a little more comforting, <laughs> even though that the queso fresco, it's, it's very delicious on its own, but you know, we're rolling with this. I haven't had any fat since last month on the 27th. I've been on this cleanse y'all. I'm sure you know, if you've seen the stories, which, if you're not, what are you doing with your life? If you haven't watched the stories, what are you doing with your life? It's like, it's like, come for the post, but stay for the stories. The stories is where it's at. Okay. I'm getting it all out. Empty. Completely empty. Now we move on to the handle because it has a lot of cheese to it. See? A whole. So we want to get it all off. Now, why did we blend it? I mean, you didn't have to, but we added air to it. So we made it nice and whippy. So when we incorporate our pasta and everything, here, let's go check on our. I licked my finger. I'm trying to do this without tasting it, y'all. This is how I'm trying to roll right now. Ooh, our pasta is almost, almost, almost. Oh my gosh, I wish I could eat this. Let me, sh let me show y'all. I'm so excited. I'm excited for the one that will be eating this. Y'all see this? You see this? This love right here. They're all bursting and lending their juices to us for the greater cause. And let's check on our pasta. Here is our pasta. Let me get a different. Let's use this one. Oh my gosh, I can't, okay, I'm gonna just touch it. I was like, I was about to put it in my mouth. Wait a minute, we're not doing that today. Okay, let me turn off the timer. Let me, let me go to the sink. Ow. Okay. The pasta is done. What are we gonna do? Every time we make pasta, every time, we're going to save the pasta water. In case we need to thicken our sauce, if we don't need it, we toss it out. But if we need it, it's a lifesaver. Because, why the pasta water? Because it has the starch, the starchiness of the pasta as he was cooking. So, it's gonna be perfect. Now, let me drain out the pasta now. And then we're ready to Put it in. Ooh, child, this this is right. This is right. Should we should we move to this one? Maybe you can see better this way. I cannot see. Okay, boom, I cannot see the comments right now. Sorry, just just know I love you. <laughs> okay, let me put the lid on this so we don't have to look at that. Okay, so we have our tomatoes, our garlic, our basil, the little bit of stuff we put in there. And now we're going to add our pasta. It's nice and drained. And in it goes. 
al dente. It's a little under al dente because we don't want it to uh, overcook. We want it to be al dente. Look at that. This is here. But now, before we, before we mix, let's add our whipped feta. I hope you can see this. You want to get all of it because it's too delicious not to get all of it. And now the moment that you have been waiting for, we mix. <laughs> the oil is too hot. I mean, the pan is too hot. Look at that. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I will say, I'll be straight up with you. <laughs> the pan was too hot and the tomatoes bursted a little more than I wanted them to, but we're going to roll with it. Now at this point, we're going to add a little more basil because this is, this is done now. I'm gonna turn it off. It's done. We're just gonna throw some fresh, some fresh, fresh. We're gonna throw it in here. And now the moment of truth. We need a taste tester. But y'all know. Y'all know I can't do that. So I'm just going to ask my son. Matthew! Okay. Look at... Y'all see this? Oh my goodness. I need you to try this, my son. Now, I cooked this blindly. I didn't taste it. But you know, I can, I can do that. I'm allowed to do that. And let's put some basil in here. here. Have like the perfect leaf of basil. Okay, let's move over here. I, I really just want to show you this time. I'm like, y'all need to see this. Hold on. I move this just a tiny little bit. But you need to see this. Look at that. Can I have the fork right there? It is piping. Look at her. She glowing. She do it. She's delicious. Why? Because it's hot in here. But if it ain't hot in the kitchen, are you really even cooking? Mm -mm. Look at this. It is creamy. It has the bursted tomato, the little bit of chili flakes. The pasta is perfectly. Oh, you're, you're, come on the side, please. Oh my gosh, my mouth. My mouth. This is where my will is tested, family. Look at this. Can you see this? It's extremely creamy. I will post a picture later that you can see. All the creaminess here. That is just on this plate. Look at that. This is where it's at. You get all the little sauce, the tomato. Okay, remember it's really hot, okay? You're gonna be okay. Oh my goodness. He was playing, fam. Okay, come this way. This is how I'm gonna blow on it for you. <laughs> it's a good bite. It has everything. Oh my gosh. My my will is tested. Every little cell in my body is hot. This is what I'm saying. So I can. So I can. I can. Okay, fam. It's hot. Tell me how it is because I didn't taste anything because I need more salt. Mm. Is it right? Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me get rid of that. Is it right? How would you describe this? I mean, this this is going viral. Like, I mean, baked and not mm -hmm. vegan. But this mm -hmm. on this is going, this is doing a thing on TikTok. It's super creamy and amazingly cheesy. It's just like and I love the pasta we use, just yeah, nice you like coils that? and the coils. It holds the sauce really nicely, cheese. right? You know mm -hmm. what cheese I use? I use my queso fresco to make the feta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so
so excited for him. I want this. Here, you can take it. Mm -hmm. Actually, give me a second. Let me show that to him. You can go on now. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back to you, but I just, I just wanted to show you all real quickly. I mean, this can be made extremely fast. You know, when you're making live, it just, it's kind of all over because I'm prepping and I'm doing, I'm trying to get angles for you all to see. But you can make this extremely fast, extremely easy, affordable ingredients that you most likely already have at home. So if you want to make the famous, the viral uh, feta pasta that's going around in TikTok, here it is. I present to you the, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your love always, all your comments, all your everything that you do. Thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Now, if you want to make this, remember that the uh, episode for the queso fresco is on the on my bio, the link. It'll take you straight to all of these other recipes, but then you just find it. If not, go to my YouTube, episode 19. And yeah, anyway, know that I always love you and that um, get to eating. Happy eating, happy everything. Much love and light, my beautiful family. <laughs>